So you just finished reading Lord. Now here's a recap in case you missed anything. This is The Master's Tools Will Never Dismantle the Master's House. So why am I starting with Audrey Lord? A, she's my hero. B, this is going to frame how we should be looking at feminism throughout this course and how we should interrogate the problems of academic feminism specifically. So what's Lord doing here? She's trying to show us that when we don't exist interdependently with others, we're perpetuating the same patriarchal, colonial, Anglo-imperialist systems that hurt us. If you're getting a little sense of Avatar here, I'm totally cool with that. So her focus is on difference and interdependence. Interdependence is going to be necessary to effectively transform hegemony. And she says it allows the I to be. What the hell does that mean? It means that when we act interdependently, we act in connection with everything. So instead of acting on, we're acting with. Remember Avatar again, like I said. So this is rejecting the typical patriarchal sense of me versus the world. In terms of difference, that's going to be this connection or this bridge, although we tend to see it as a wall. So this is the basis of creating a community on the margins. The margins are designed to separate us to keep the power of the center stronger. So as long as we see difference as a wall, the master succeeds in oppressing the marginalized. And creativity comes out of appreciating difference as a necessary and fundamental part of being. So when we value difference and work interdependently, it allows us to more effectively transform hegemony. Then she talks about the racist white feminism. And who are they challenging? She says, the failure of academic feminists to recognize difference as a crucial strength is a failure to reach beyond the first patriarchal lesson. So what does this mean? White feminists are channeling the master. So this means that we're just continuing to uphold his power because we're perpetuating the hatred and fear of difference. So instead, we need to be using difference to create a community for empowerment. Lord says that white feminists are sick of having to bridge the gap of ignorance and educate men as to why feminism is important, why patriarchy is oppressive, etc. So we should be better than to assume that black women are supposed to educate us on racism. I mean, come on. So she has this call for action then. She wants a new structure. She says, divide and conquer must become define and empower. We need a new system outside the structures that can eliminate dominance, and that dominance comes out of fear of difference. So we need to start with embracing difference. So that's it for Audre Lorde. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go on to the next reading, which is Marilyn Fry, and you're going to do this same process over again.